Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can plan out your shots in the camera beforehand so that when you put them in Premiere, you can easily create cool smooth whip and pan motion blur transitions. So you can see I have two clips that I got that I want to transition between and I'm going to break down my thought process for how I made these work together by shooting them the right way. So we've got clip A here which just pans across the scene but right as I went to finish the shot, I just whipped my wrist around so it created some quick motion blur. Then you have clip B, which starts at a standstill or behind something and then whips over into the scene that I want to pan to. So all I have to do at this point is find the point where the motion blur starts. So right about here in this clip and then press C to get my razor tool, hold shift and then cut that and I can delete this extra end of the clip. And then I have to find the portion in clip B where the motion blur begins, like halfway in between. So you can see right about here, I whip my wrist around, create some quick motion blur before panning across the scene. So I'll cut it right about there. There's a, a nice amount of blur for us to start with. So I'll cut it. Also, if you're highlighted any clip, you can also press Command K to cut things. And now let's take those two ends and put them together. And you should be able to see that if we did it properly, we have a nice smooth whip and motion blur transition that looks really cool and we didn't even have to do any crazy blurring effects or keyframes or anything like that. We just planned it out in camera beforehand to make it easier for ourselves and then we just splice them together in editing. One optional thing you can do if your transition is not as smooth or maybe not at the same time of day like mine was is you can go into the clip and then right click at the cut and apply default transitions and then just bring together that cross dissolve just a couple frames in so that it barely cross dissolves right as it's panning over and that will really help blend things together if you need it. But as you guys can see, although this effect may look really cool and you might think that it's difficult to do, it's a very simple effect as long as you just do the proper planning while you're shooting your shots. So if you enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're not yet to stay tuned for all my new future creative videos. If you guys want, you can follow me on social media at Justin Odisho on Instagram, Twitter, all that. Stay tuned with me, reach out, whatever you want. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.